This is the Merlin magnifier, which you now have in your house. My friend Dave is going to give you a demonstration on how to reassemble this so that you will be able to use it. We had to ship it like this, and now we're going to put it back together and show you how that works. Okay, so first we have the, this is the arm. And okay, so let me take this off. This is the electric. Okay, this is Dave. I'm David. Hi. So the arm is just going to be... Well, it's going to be wrapped, but once you unwrap it, it's going to be lying here like this. And all Slow you down. Do Slow is, down. Why don't you come a little closer if you want? See, I'm just lifting it up and I'm putting it directly on that post and it just goes straight down. Okay, keep Good. going. Now we're going to put the monitor on. Now you will probably need two people to help you with this, but here's the screen, the monitor, and if you look at the back, it's got four black screws on it. You will take those screws out. You just don't even need any tools. Comes right out. You'll want to have two people do this, uh, but uh, Dave is going to do it by himself just to show you the first Okay. mounting of the screen so then there's it goes up on this bracket and with two people it's easier just line the holes up and then it just screws in uh, let me see if i can line the hole okay okay so see i've lined it up with the hole i got the first one in once you get the first one and the rest is easy i'm only going to put two in now for this demo but you're going to want to put all four in Okay, so I got two in at the top. You're going to want to put the other two in at the bottom as well. These are standard cords for computers. The black one is power. It's got the three prongs. This is for the monitor of the video connection. And careful with the needles that you don't force it. It only goes one yes. way. This only goes one way. And actually the way it's twisted, it's going to naturally go in the right position because it's used to it. You push it up and then you just screw those in. I'm not gonna do it now. Maybe Ray can help you, uh, somebody proficient with computers or- uh, But it's really easy. Anybody who's mechanical, they Ronnie, don't have to be computer. Ronnie yet. Richmond or even okay. Paul Richmond can help. And again, help. the way this is hanging, it just goes right in and you'll push it in firmly all the way. I'm not gonna push it all the way now because it's a little stiff to get out. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So that's done. Now we have the electrical, Power supply. Electrical item. Well, there's a couple cords and cables in here. Now I think we're sending you some adapters that might work for your electrical over there. Well, you're going to have to check with uh, somebody about yeah. the adapter for UK. These yeah. are American uh, cords. Yeah. Um, well, the voltage over there I know is 220, but you might already have some contraption that'll work. Okay, so this is very simple. Um, actually, you want... Okay. Yeah. So this goes in over here. There's a hole. There's only one hole this will go to, and it just goes it's, straight it's in. To, it's not the yellow one. It's not the yellow next one. to the right of the yellow. Yeah. And then the other end, you have to see how you can make that plug in in your country. That's the sort of standard plug for USA. Okay, so that's that cord. And then we have this cord. Standard RCA plug. Show it. Show it. Mm -hmm. And that goes into the yellow. There's no, this is black, that's yellow. There's no okay. relevance to the colors. It just happens to Plug be the yellow. Straight in. And the other end. The other end goes up here. Just push straight in. Okay. That's that. And let's see. Oh, there's one more plug. This is for the. Wait. Recording when, I, when the red button is showing or? There's a, there's a clock in the corner. Am I recording right now or not? Yeah, you're recording because it's flashing. I'm not sure that, uh, all right. Power supply and the other one is permanently attached to this thing. So you got two plugs, they both have to plug in and you will have to figure that out because they're both USA plugs. Okay, but I'm gonna plug in them now.
We're ready to turn it yeah. on. Okay, there's two power buttons. There's this one in front, clearly says power. You turn that on and a green light comes on. You see the light. This screen has its own power button that's on the far right. Just press that and see it gets yes. blue. It says Merlin. And I'm also giving you the instruction book and I'm gonna just give you, I wrote up a little reference sheet on top, put that in, we'll see how it looks and it's very visible. And there's different modes which is right. First show the round button, you turn it to make it oh, yeah. bigger. This button to the right. changes size, let's see. And then you can slide this. Oh yeah, actually let's show this. To unlock this tray, you just push this to the right and release. And then the tray moves all over. And actually you can keep that unlocked normally. The only reason you would lock it is if you're gonna move it, move the whole thing. So you can just keep it in the left, which is unlocked. And the mode button, changes the background and the colors, if any of those are preferable for you. And then when you're done using it, you turn off this power button and pause. So after, after you turn off this power, within a minute, about a minute or so, this will be flashing, which means it's in standby. Now you can just walk away and leave it alone. If you're not gonna use this, device for an extended period, then you might want to turn off the monitor, which you do just by pressing that button. But remember, when you turn it back on, then there's going to be two buttons to press, this one and this one. That's it. Enjoy.